Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we lost against Desco, the final boss. And in this episode, we are going to try again. But first, you will see that I have uh, leveled up just about everybody and upgraded their gear a little bit. Uh, except Fuka, because I forgot her. Uh, or overalls. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I upgraded everyone's weapons. I reincarnated Fuka just like I said I would. And now, last minute, we are going to uh, boost some skills. Let's see here. No, no, yes. No, no, no. Yes. Duck, 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 duck. Swan. <laughs> I don't even know. It's a Salabar. Anyway. Let's do this. Enter the final weapon. The Forbidden Cell. All right, Desco. All right, so pretty much do the same as last time, except don't die. <laughs> That's all the advice I have to give. Let's uh, let's get Fenric in a spot where he can uh, get to that Geo Cube. And hopefully neither of them will die too soon into the fight. Because they are my best units. Oh yeah, zeros, thirty twos, we got nothing to worry about here. Let's smash it up. Okay, now I can fight normally. Here I come. Which is going to be a pretty big help against uh I forgot to do that. Pretty big help against these Mothmen, because Mothmen are strongly the enemy. Time to bust some balls! So yeah, monster type units uh, aren't quite the same as uh, humanoid units. Actually, what am I saying? They learn their unique skills by leveling up. The same can be said of generic units, and the same can also be said of the main characters. So I don't know what I was talking about. Also, I got a... Meow. Because as cute as that meow is, we do not want there to be echo in my voice commentary. <laughs> Just not a thing that should be happening. Yep, that was a thing that happened. That was absolutely a thing that happened. Time to 
not sure whether she's saying Tatsumaki or Takoyaki. <laughs> they sound very similar. Alright, time to bring out Sasha to do some healing. I forgot to unlock her mega heal, but whatever. We shouldn't need it. I guess. What is this? A dispersed damage panel. That could be a little troublesome. But we can just lure Desco off of the panels, so it's fine. Fenric can't reach. That's uh, that's certainly a thing that's true. I should really be keeping uh, Val and Desco or Val and Fenric together more often. Fenric's ability is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. That would have been really funny if I sneezed just there. <laughs> A running gag with a healthy dose of irony on top. Alas, it did not happen. Let's get Fuka out here and bounce her off a of Prinny to much uh, success. Wait, what the heck? She can't move. Well, whatever. You get over there. Yeah, she keeps her baseball bat even if you unequip her. <laughs> it's a special animation, what did you expect? Alright, now I can't reach her anymore, but that's just fine. Oops, except Kitty took damage. Not quite as fine as I was hoping, oh well. Also, whenever I read Spiral Blast and Arrow Trap together, I can't help but misread it as Spinal Tap. <laughs> the thing. Bombastic. Let's get Kitty off of the, uh... Off of the danger panels. Can't defeat me. 
The geo panels were not even polite enough to disperse in a meaningful pattern. Or rather, they did, but it was the wrong pattern. <laughs> I think it's only fitting that Fuka gets the final blow here. Dang it, Val! <laughs> Dang it, Val. It ruined the ending. Sardines! Sardines, of course! See? See? Totally predictable. <laughs> Sardines? Absolutely. You guys should indulge in them as well. They will make you stronger. Does Farlock lost? Does lost against an enemy who wasn't even a hero? Say abandoned? Absolutely absurd! Ah! Humans have created not just a normal demon, but a final boss, the highest of all demon ranks? What could they possibly be plotting? Why don't they just keep focusing on sardine research? <laughs> and what is the corruptorment doing allowing the humans to pursue such madness? What is the president thinking? Judging by this blockhead here, I assume the corruptment isn't thinking at all. Oh snap! Shots fired! Am I the only one left to do this after all? Must I teach a lesson to the unruly humans as well as the rotten corruptment? Yes, my lord. And I believe that usurping the regime is the key to doing both. Huh. Indeed! Then I accept this duty placed before me. Trinies, demons, or humans, I will turn their worlds into Hades to teach them all a good lesson. I hereby declare right here, right now, to overthrow the current corruptment and to hadeify all worlds by forming Hadeify, the Hades that's that sure is a word. Bravo! Your wish is my command. However, that name sounds a bit too straightforward. We should discuss this later. Come with me, Desco. Huh? But, but, but Desco isn't really a final boss. Indeed, you are not. You're still too inadequate to be a final boss. But I will train you so that one day, you will make a magnificent final. Desco was defeated. How can a defeated final boss ever become a magnificent final boss? Do not be ashamed of your loss. There are tons of final bosses out there who have climbed their way back after a defeat. Like Bowser! Besides, only those who have experienced failure and downfall can become stronger. Really? So, so, should Desco let go of her shame that came with her defeat? Yes. 
So long as you get right back up after a defeat, you'll be fine. This isn't even her final form! Will Desko be able to fight a final battle against a hero someday? Yeah, hopefully. Of course, Zetai Hero Project came out before this game, so, uh... The Unlosing Ranger is gonna have to wait for another day. <laughs> when you become a magnificent final boss and spread your evilness, Hero will surely confront you. Desco be able to pull off three transformations and bribe the hero by offering them half of the world? <laughs> In true Dragon Quest fashion. Of course, if you can keep up with my training. I promise to push you until you obtain the power of a worthy final boss. So, Desco, come with me. Okay! Desco promises to follow you until she is ready to become a magnificent final boss. Oh, my lord. There goes another one of your promises. Desco, join the party! No way! She attacked me! How can I be on the same team as some... Desco is going to become a magnificent final boss. I hope I will have your blessings, Big Sis. Big Sis? Yes, Desco's Big Sis. Oh, she's your younger sister. You two better get along then. Absolutely not! Do you see any family resemblance between us two? She said she was created by humans. But you were created by humans as well, correct? Technically correct. The best kind of correct. Yeah, but I'm the product of the love between <laughs> into being their teammate. I'm starting to think this regime usurpation thing could actually happen. So do you two guys have names or are you just gonna sit there and be NPCs the, for the whole game? Let's go everyone. We're going to turn the worlds into Hades. The battle, which ended with Valva Torres's victory, soon triggers the birth of a new political force that will threaten the entire netherworld. In the future, people will look back at this battle as the rise of the tyrant. But at this point, this is only the beginning of when the world started heading towards corruption. Oh hey, you're not dead! Hmm, huh? What happened? Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about him. Hey, you're coming with us too. And these all join the party! Maybe. Uh, where to? Never mind, that doesn't matter. Why do I gotta tag along with you guys? Why? Don't you know what's going on right now? You should read the newspaper. Don't! Oh! father must be very upset to hear about this news. You should come along to relieve his heart as soon as possible. <laughs> we caught wind of some shocking news after we quelled the brutal criminals of Hades. I can't believe they announced that I died! Sardines are not Clupini. <laughs> They are Clupiformis Clupioti, to be specific. Who cares? Although Japanese sardines and round herrings are Clupidi, and Japanese anchovies belong to the Angrolid again. The hell? Next time, episode four, Hades Haysayara Army. You don't trust sardines. Make sure you eat their guts, too. Desco will be showing off. <laughs> can never trust fish taxonomy. That is a lesson of the day.